I think a lot of people have changed their thinking on beauty marks because now it's something that you can add to yourself to make yourself even more unique. Before we used to kind of shy away from uniqueness. I'm Arlette and I'm getting a permanent beauty mark done today. I'm wanting to get them right over here on my cheekbone. My great grandmother, she has two on her forehead so I wanna get two that are similar to hers just to kind of have a piece of her with me. I didn't like my beauty marks at first. People used to ask me if I had dirt on my face and they'd be like, rub it off, clean it off. <laughs> and it definitely did something to my self-esteem because it was natural and I couldn't change it. I wouldn't have thought that it would have been a trend or something that someone would want to purposely get. I am hoping that they look more natural to kind of go with the ones that I already have on my face. I was thinking about it because usually whenever I do my makeup, I kind of just put the dots there already. So my great grandma, she's really strict, so I don't know how she's gonna react, but I hope that she really likes them when she thinks like, oh, she did it because of me. I'm Isabella Owens, and I'm the owner and permanent makeup artist at Allo Beauty Bar, The Babe Bar, and The Lip Blush Academy in New Mexico. The services I provide at Allo Beauty Bar are lip blushing, lip blush training, beauty marks, and permanent eyeliner. I got into permanent makeup actually as a child. My mom was a permanent makeup artist, and so I got a really, really deep interest in it. I have noticed a trend of beauty marks. I've had a lot of bookings for beauty marks lately, and I think they're so fun to do, and they're just always so beautiful. Hi! How are you? Are you excited to get your beauty mark? Yes, I am. Awesome. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> yeah, it's nerve wracking, but it's okay. We'll put numb you. You really won't feel too much pain or anything, okay. and, and it'll be over before you know it. Okay. So where do you want to do your beauty marks at? So I want them right over here. I'm wanting to get them on the top of my cheekbone, and I want two of them. Okay, that's perfect. Let's get started. Okay. So I met Isabella in fourth grade and we've kind of grown up together. I trust her more than anything, but I am nervous because I am very bad when it comes to pain, especially something in my face. I'm a little nervous. So first I will have Arlette lay down and then from there I will go ahead and numb her. So I will numb her for 15 to 20 minutes. Once she is numb, I'll go ahead and I will map out where we're gonna be doing the beauty marks. For the mapping, I use a red gel pen and I just gently place the mapping down. And then once it's approved, we can get started on the tattooing. So I will grab my needle and I'll make sure that it's at the perfect depth for the procedure. After my needle is all set up and my machine is wrapped, I will go right where we are going to map her and begin tattooing. I will wipe the ink off a couple times so that I can make sure that I'm in the right place with my needle and make sure that it's going exactly how I want it to go. As I wipe, I just gently wipe and I reveal what I have so far and then I'll continue to tattoo whatever needs to be tattooed. I decided on the color for our lip based on her natural birthmarks that she had on the other side of her face. So I used a darker color just because they are naturally darker on her and it'll heal about 20 to 30% softer. Oh my gosh, that's literally perfect. Yeah, I like that. It's really cute. So for aftercare, it's super, super simple. All you're gonna wanna do is apply Aquaphor on it. Don't apply any makeup, skincare, okay. nothing for three days. Three days, okay. And then just Aquaphor for about two weeks. Okay, you're good perfect. To go. Just keep it clean. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, of course. I love them. I think they're so cute and they're really perfect and they look a lot like my great grandma's, so it makes me really happy. To the people who used to make fun of me, I'd probably say that I Love my beauty marks now, and I'm really glad that I've found a way to appreciate them. After knowing Arlette for so long, since fourth grade, it was actually a really, really cool thing and a really big deal to see her cute little beauty marks on her face now. And knowing like her great-grandmother and her family too, it really makes it much more special. I didn't feel a thing. I'm so glad that she numbed me because yeah, it was completely numb, didn't feel a thing. I find that the beauty marks can last up to seven years depending on how well people's skin holds pigment. I think my great grandma is going to love them, especially whenever I mention about how they're similar to hers. They do make me feel more confident with my natural ones. I definitely feel like it's a part of me.